So, today we will make the final works on the reamer. I already made the disassembly. And now we can make the holes for the fixation screw as well as a wooden inlay for here for the inside. And one job is we need to make the hardening of the um, of the cutting piece here and by request from subscriber I changed from a three teeth cutter to a one teeth cutter because otherwise I will create some problems uh, by the rotation of the cutter three teeth will dis disturb each other so otherwise I had to make the hole in the same angle like the twist rate so for that it's too late right now we will make the hardening of the one teeth cutting piece but first Let's go to the lathe. And make the threads here on the barrel holder. Here you can see the screw hole. Now we make one more and then we can cut the threads.
So the fixation pieces are done. Now we make the reassembling to the rifling bench. So now the hardening of the cutter. So here you can see the first test piece, everything is done pretty well, the drum uh, I equipped with the U-Profile aluminium, now all six groves are equipped and here you can see a scrap piece of pipe from the shotgun build and the cutter. And now we make some moves.
the color takes very small tiny gems like it should be and now we can check I made right now five or six rounds and now we can check if it's good or not so that's a close-up teeth of the cutter So here on the bottom, you can see the result. For the first two cuts, and it's looking pretty well. So The only thing that I'm not pretty happy about is that the cutting piece has too much wear. I think the reason is that the teeth are very high in angle. There's not so much supporting material behind the cutting edge. So there is a lot of wear. And I will make a new cutting piece where the backing angle is not, uh, is slightly longer. So, um, there's no more supporting material and the wear is less. So that will make it much better. But for now, that's okay. To me, the result is, I would say, rather good. Here you can see again the twist of two cuts it's looking pretty well so that's the ready done rifling machine